I grew up in Belle Plaine, Iowa. Hi, Sandy. Where I'm sitting now, there's Mr. Hosky. And I live in Los Angeles. Steve Mangler. I'm an artist. It was just always a creative environment. My mom was really good about pushing art activities on me. Sit down and use these watercolors because it's raining outside, or here's some oil paint to play around with. All of my family members went to Iowa, so that was kind of an easy choice. But I hadn't really thought about being an artist as a profession. It wasn't necessarily something I had experienced firsthand or knew any working artist. Part of the pursuit is finding ways to buy yourself time. That's a real thing. Like, if I can make a little money here, buy myself some time in the studio, that's, that's part of the creativity. The cool thing about being in a small town is like, your imagination has no limits. You can ride your bike to the other side of town, out of town. The experience of freedom like that, imaginative freedom is crucial. It's just a huge part of my life. As an artist, you have to have some level of confidence to try certain things, you know, not be in a comfort zone. Growing up in a place where you can explore, wander, adventure, like, that was maybe good preparation for that sort of mentality. The show's called Eat Chew Alive, or Eat You Alive. It's kind of a play on words. John and I started talking probably two years ago. He said his paintings were seven by seven, and I went seven by seven inches. He goes, no, seven feet by seven feet. I went, then I realized we had to, we had to do some thinking on, on how we were gonna make this work. And it just happened that a friend of the museum said, if you guys are ever looking to do a specific exhibit, I'll help fund it. And he said, I'm talking about something on a bigger scale than what you guys normally do. So I said, we're funded. This work especially is really best to be seen in person. It's fun to like put yourself in front of a painting that's seven feet tall. The reactions have been really cool. I mean, nobody's thrown up or passed out or, you know, started convulsing or anything. So it's a little disappointing. But, um, <laughs> As an artist, it's my job to try to stop and be still and see, like, what can I use in my dialogue and my language that can talk about what I observe. Pixelation is a huge part of my language. Our phones, our TVs, our computer screens. Once you go in so deep, it's, it's just these little, you know, boxes. And oddly enough, like, the felt pieces become brush strokes. There's this great connection between the two, this like digital representation, but also this classic idea of paint stroke. We want kids really to see that growing up in a small town is not a limitation. Coming back to Iowa in the context of being an artist and showing work, is a dream, it's awesome. It's a great escape from one side of the sword of being an artist, it's like market value and stuff I personally can't really control. It was just all about presentation, like here's, here's a body of work and chew on it.